But what I'm going to want to do, honestly, the thing that I might want to do is actually clear this out and turn it into an electrolyzer. That seems like the same, uh, the same idea in the situation. Okay, so we'll try that one more time. Power is still an issue for this this specific section. Main issue is just the space heater is on the same uh, same circuit, and I do not have the power supply yet. Nobody has ever come out this way, and I have no idea why. Low priority, I guess, but it's just confusing. I guess we do have other things to work on. Oh, I also put the labs on the same same circuit. That can't be helping right now. Oh, later situation. But yeah, what I'm thinking is, I'm going to have this water geyser as a, a electrolysis generator. Because I figure if we have two geysers more or less fading into the same system, it might not work 100% of the time. But if I can get the two of them to feed into each other properly, that would probably help. I'd also really like to uh, expand the amount of... Uh, expand the amount of, like, space in here. Because one thing that'll probably make uh, the hydrogen generator si situation better is if there's just an insane amount of, of room for the gas to go. Heat the oxygen with the generators and pump that back into the base. My problem is I'm currently having slight power issues. Nothing that's like particularly catastrophic just because I have next to no power requirements to begin with. Uh-oh. I guess we do need to uh, compost somewhere. Right, let's see, refinement, compost. I guess I'll put it right there next to the deodorizer. So this does put out looted dirt occasionally. Maybe, maybe not. What's the temperature in here? It's like in the 40s. Okay, well, it's still in the negatives right here. That's real cold. Let me think. We have an espresso machine, oil refinery, polymer press. Yeah, we might want to consider doing this here. Oh, new printables available. What do we have? Oxyfern? Or we could grab this guy. Allergic to floral scent, but we don't really have that. Oh, we, we actually could get one or, one or the other. So, a cook and an interior decorator and an operator, a supplier, or oxyfern. Trying to decide on that one. Because we don't need that much oxygen, but I want to try the oxy fern at least for a little bit. To see how useful that is. 
Oxy ferns are great. Water intensive, but great. Okay. Well, we have potentially infinite water, so that's... Low-ish priority. Nobody seems terribly interested in working on this. Oh, because the priority is three. Let's bump that up to a six at this point. We should get that done, because that's part of the reason why this area is so cold. Okay. And with that, our, our somewhat livable box is at least habitable. Kind of mostly, sort of, I don't know. We might need one more thing there. Let's see, unrefrigerated food. Yeah, the main issue is just, this hasn't popped off yet. Okay, so we don't have any research, research going, but that's fine, because we kind of needed that power for other stuff. Wow, it burns power like crazy. Why is it so cold over here, specifically? Is it just because the... No, the insulated tile shouldn't be letting that much through. Oh, it's the gas vent. Having this gas vent here. Is the problem. This is too little too late. It's already freaking frigid in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're just low-key pumping, uh... Cold ass air into these rooms. I wasn't even thinking about that with this. Because we still gotta get the chlorine gas. What I might almost do is just pump the rest of the oxygen in here or something, or I guess I could always just have one of the uh, oxygen heaters. Let's see, power. Feels like kind of a weird, dumb cop-out, but I'm actually going to put another power bike on, on this circuit. It's barely staying powered. Uh, let's see. So this will get us... A little bit more heat, and should keep the, uh, keep this area powered. Is it really just the refrigerator? Right, somebody had said that fridges are massive power sinks. Right, we've also got the oxygen diffuser there. And kind of the pump and some other things. Okay, one way or another, the batteries at least seem to be fill, filling up. So I shouldn't have to worry about. Dude, to be honest, you and some of the other guys that played this game are making me want to play it. It's a fun game. It's, I don't know, I'd say it's worth playing. I thoroughly in enjoy... Good couple hours of oxygen not included. Originally, it was kind of meh on the game, but I think that's just because it needed a lot more development. 
And now that it's like completely done. Well, it's not completely done. Play games are never done, let's be honest here. Yeah, that fire pole is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Nobody's working over there yet, but we've still got a lot to do in this area. I was hoping this vent... I set that to a higher priority. Analyzing that is a good idea. Actually, can I, can I set most of this to priority 7? So it gets done. Okay. Is the temperature? Yeah, it's just barely growable. What else do I have for power? Because I've got a lot of wires. Solar panels would be interesting, and steam turbines... I could see steam turbines being a good idea. It draws in steam from tiles below the machine's foundation. It uses it to generate electrical power. And it outputs water. Like, that could work over here. Oh, this is abyssalite, too. Somebody said abyssalite had a decent... Maybe? Maybe not. We need a new dupe. I had a name idea. Chicken Tartare. What is a Tartare? Oh, God! <laughs> the belief of the Tartars having little time for cooking, but the desiccated meat under their horses' saddles while riding. I... You know... That... Yeah... That, ugh, God. I know the uh, Mongolians did the same thing, I think. Also, thank you, Reaper X, for the four month resub. Ah, yeah. There we go. I gotta get comfy again. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Reaper X, for the sub, and welcome. Desiccated meat describes dupes perfectly. Ugh. Grim business. We gotta get them suits. Okay. Uh, let's probably go down here. Get hazard protection. It's about time we got this going. We might also want to look into tubes. I have petroleum sitting around. It's gonna take a while to get it working, though. Let's see. So the batteries aren't looking nearly as bad as they were. Our power situation's kind of okay. Salmonella salad. Ugh. It will polluted water turn into regular steam if heated. Yes. So there are there are some interesting techniques with that. It's gonna take a while to research that thing, apparently. Thank you, Jambes, for the 200 bits. August is your busy celebration month. Want to share the joy? Celebrating anything interesting, or is it just life in general? August is my my super busy busy time of the year, but that's entirely just because I've got packs at the end of the month and so many games. Like I feel bad because like I really do enjoy uh playing games and then obviously finishing as finishing them as as much as possible. I really enjoy a completed series being able to put a finale up on YouTube. And unfortunately, August is one of those months that it's just like, you wanted to finish stuff. Ah! It's a, uh... It's a cruel month. I'm happy that I was able to finish Dragon Quest Builders, because it would have probably had some issues. If I hadn't, like, finished it sooner than later. And thank you, Reaper X, for, for the 100 bits. Take my bits. I have taken them. Thank you. 
Oh, this, oh, right, from up, up above. I gotta stop giving my dupes extra stuff to do. Because <laughs> they still haven't finished the stuff out here. They finished some of this. Gas filled. Want hydrogen. Let's see. Ooh. So... We could get some coal. Or we could get nails. Okay, so they can't build stuff, but they could do some other other things. I mean, it's really te tempted to just uh, go rename nails back to just nails. You know what? Actually, where where'd they go? Salmonella salad sounds great, but like nails is I want to say the most appropriate name that we've got here. Uh, let's see, where are they? There you go. We're just gonna go with nails. No, not nail pie. Just, just nails. Just a bowl of nails. Nothing more. You didn't cook it. It's just, it, it just is. Also, this way I can shout nail if I need nail for anything. Ow. Ow. Damn it, where'd you go? You don't even have a hat. Okay, is that nail? Think so. Oh, they're finally they're finally sucking this uh grabbing this stuff. Nails without milk. I think with with or without milk, it's it's a disaster. What do you want, Super Kamiguru? I mean, considering I'm sitting on my ass and telling everybody what to do, I am Super Ka Kamiguru. What do you I've always been Super Kamiguru? Nails, one pound. Raw. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of room for improvement. Or room to grow, room to expand, room to build something. How's the temperature in here? It's so cold as shit. Hopefully that'll help. Once the water, once we actually use the water seed for things, maybe it won't be. So How's our food doing? Food's doing fine. We might want to broaden our horizons, get a, get a second set of farms sooner than later, but I don't know. Fun tip: when you get to the surface, make sure it's separated from the rest of your base. I assume because it's pure vacuum up there. And that would go bad. How's the breathable oxygen going? Not great, actually. Let's see, will, be shell, will Shell join me for things tonight? Yes, actually. Uh, so we've got a really adorable looking point and click adventure game that we'll be playing around eight. Uh, so in about two and a half hours. Uh, so we're gonna play that for a little while. It's called Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. There's a lot of Eldritch games uh, that came out in the past year. This is probably gonna be my favorite one, assuming it's as good as it looks. Because Sinking City was neat, but very dour and not very fun. And Call of Cthulhu was just acceptable. Gibbous looks just, I don't know, it just looks cute. And then also Fire Emblem. We're gonna just be playing Fire Emblem every single freaking night until we're done. 
As soon as soon as we're done with Fire Emblem, we're gonna just be so happy because that's a freaking stupid, stupid long game. Explosive decompression is the thing. <laughs> really? I will keep that in mind uh, as I get up here. Didn't Wander march them all into the lava into lava at once? Yes, I did. Back when lava was not fatal. <laughs> that was a day. The temperature in here. I think it got colder. Let's see, so am I doing all three routes or just one? There's four routes, and we're going to do a full series on the on the Golden Deer route. And then, as far as everything else goes, heck if I know, uh, there's a very real possibility it'll be like a super abridged series for all three other routes, where I'm just like super grinding my way to victory and just like punching things in the face solely with the main character or something. With just like awfully beefed up stats. Because I could do that. And I might, I don't know, I'll probably do something of the sort. Okay, so over here, tile. And we need thermium, and I have no idea where you even get thermium. Let's see. What do we want to get over here? Is this five plants? It is five plants. Is that enough for a nature reserve? Or wild plants? Yeah, actually. Let's see. Maybe under furniture? I'll let them work on that. Let's see, ever gonna go back to Judgment? I... I would love to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We will entirely see. The problem is, like, any game that lasts longer than, like, X... hours, the ch chances of me... Okay, analysis complete. This geyser will be active for 52 cycles out of every 98 cycles. Next activity is day 100. Wow. Okay. So, waiting for that is meaningless. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna want to find alternative power power setups to that because holy crap, that's going to take forever. Has nobody ever gone out here? Oops. Okay, so now we've got a nature reserve. As shitty as it kind of is. Oh, it's an elderly shine bug. They die of old age. Good to know. So yeah, we're gonna wanna have to find... We're gonna need to find some alternative easy power situation. I mean, honestly, steam might not be a terrible idea. Hey, thank you, Wyvern, for the three-month resub. That was life. Hope you are having a chill afternoon. 
and you were staying relatively warm and or cool depending on the out outside temperatures. Freaking toasty here. So, option A, I mean, super obviously, what we're going to want to do is actually work with all three of these. I don't want to touch the iron volcano until I have a setup that can actually deal with it, because if I piss this thing off, it's going to melt all of this area and then doom me. Yeah, steam's an excellent one. You just need love and water. And I've got both as geysers, and I could potentially, you know, get those to last. It's just... Let's see, is that... No, that's coal over there. That's dirt. What coal floating around? I was really expecting we'd find... more geysers out here. And, like, buried stations and whatnot. Okay, so the temperature in this area is... Still super freaking variable, and also just really cold. Okay, this isn't as cold as it was, though. Geysers are pretty rare. Kind of. So the wolfer might might also be worth just digging out, too. So sand, or another oxifern, or do we want Marie? Ugly cry or mole hands. Increased air consumption rate is a bit of an issue. This is the standard. Yeah, it's probably grab oxifern. Mouth breather, mouth breather seems like it could be inconvenient. I want to just come out digging for the wolframite. My main fear is that the uh, the iron volcano. Okay, so it, molten iron at a rate of that at a temperature of four thousand five hundred. So. If I could actually make Wolframite... Metal tiles? But we haven't refined any metal yet. Ugh. Okay. Well, we got this working. We should just do it. Broken pipes be, be damned. It'll produce warm water anyway. So, like, this is actually something that we want to work on. Poor sops. They're slowly trying to clean that place up, and it is not good for them. Let's see. So power's looking good. Go back to research. So we did get uh, hazard protection. We could go for home luxuries. What else do we have? Yeah, there's automation, which would be interesting. Yeah, there's also transit tubes, but I don't think I can make those without plastic. Probably do bunker tile. Is he making wolframite from iron? Well, I have wolframite just hanging out here. Like I could, I could mine this stuff. So what I'm probably going to want to do is actually make a bunch of. Probably make a, a bunch of wolframite metal tile, and surround the volcano in that, and then figure out. How the hell I can even work with lava?
Okay, so what do we what do we have? Oh, Wolframite to tungsten. Probably do that. Because we have a lot of Wolframite. What's the issue with plumbing here? Looks like it's fine. Oh, popped eardrums. Maybe we should actually get some oxygen in here. Actually, not sure where they got popped eardrums from. Or. I'm just going to run the oxygen from here. Let's see. But we're going to want insulated gas pipe for that. Okay, there we go. But yeah, so this should prov provide warmer water. It's like slight, slightly warmer water. But for, I think it might actually be colder water. No? At like 75 degrees. So we're co we're cooling it down some? Not much. Well, one way or another, we'll keep keep this relatively uh relatively cold. Get me some wolframite and some other things that I can work with. Uh, let's see. How's our food doing? Food's still staying pretty good. How is it? How is this not warm enough yet? Because this this space heater actually really is like heating the environment. I might even want to like move it around a couple of times. Yeah, how am I producing clean water directly from the filter? 500,000 bacteria from sewage water sifted. Uh, I'm actually... I haven't had to use my sieve yet, but it'll produce... It will end up producing quite a lot of bacteria. The trick is you flood the room with chlorine and problem solved. Speaking of... There's some chlorine if I want to go for it. Because yeah, I was hoping I could find salt by this point. But it looks like there's no salt on the map. At least nowhere close to where I am. This is mostly just like oxalite rust. Rust. More rust. Some bleach stone. I mean, bleach stone will also do the trick. Ah, could do it. Probably wouldn't even take that long. Okay, so why don't we do ventilation, gas pipe. I guess we gotta do... Uh, let's see, ventilation, insulated gas pipe. It's granite. Because that should hopefully survive the, the temperatures a bit better. These poor people. That is going to take a while for them to make, but worth it in the long run.
Okay, so they'll work on that in, uh, for a little while. Well, they're pretty aggressive about working for it right now. It also looks like some of this ice might break? No? It looks like it's just randomly cracked sometimes. Oh no, there's a buried object! There's a lot of buried objects here. I'd never notice that's how it's supposed to work. Question, if we go to ventilation. Is there a gas? No, it doesn't look like it. if we make it that big. It'd be good. Might be worth putting, pumping some carbon, or not carbon, some oxygen in here. These people really don't feel like working on this area. I guess it's because it sucks. Is there no dedicated radiator item? Uh, you mean, well, there's the space heater, which radiates, uh, heat. And there is freeze wart that cools everything down. But no, there normally isn't a dedicated uh, radiator item. That said, there's a mod that I got recently uh, that actually does does produce. Let's see. Probably make an exosuit forge. I can't imagine I'm going to be able to use it. Yet. Possibly ever. I'll just put it right there. But yeah, we might as well get, uh... We might as well get them and, and put them in here. Maybe. It's probably a good thing that we got access to the oxalite. Only to produce just like a smidge of oxygen in here so these poor people aren't constantly dying. Okay, but yeah. I've heard about the zombie spores. I haven't done anything to interact with them, nor am I terribly immediately motivated to do so. It's all priority five. I guess part of it is we, we just have like half of our people on hamster wheels. Okay, so what do we got? Some omelets or some sand? We could also grab this guy, but I've I've been picking up a lot lately, so let's pick up some omelets. It's just kind of a nice bonus. And they get stuff done pretty fast. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So it doesn't look like, uh, the park is doing me any good. This nature reserve? It must be because it's too far away. Maybe the characters have to, like, pass through it to actually gain the effects. Probably the case.
Let's see. Probably gonna grab exosuit wearing on a number of these characters. Because bonus, th bonus athletics is kind of always useful here. Okay. So, we're getting close to being able to pump some chlorine down. We still haven't found anything useful up here. We've got some water. That's okay. Hey, thank you, Verisog, for the 10 month resub. How is life? Oh. The hatches are. Oh, you know what? The hatches probably just hatched. Question Research. Let's actually not let these ones just get utterly skunked. Let's. Let's get the research done and properly recruit them this time around. And also, thank you, Verisog, for the 500 bits. Did I say 10 months resub? I'm not sure. I might have misread that. I'm like, I'm weirdly sleepy today. I guess I slept in way late. Like, I think I slept from like 2... I guess it was like 3 to 12 or something. Maybe I actually didn't get enough sleep. I feel like I didn't get up until late in the day. Uh-oh. Circuit overloaded. This one? Doesn't this circuit just have like... Oh, God. And that's why. I was wondering about that. So the answer... The answer is purely just that thing requires so much power. Okay, I did say 10 month reset. Cool. Sometimes I'm not paying attention to what I'm saying because my mind... My mind is... Is far away. 